Hi folks. So in this video, I'm going to be showing my way of working with reference images in Blender, which can be useful for a lot of things, including when you're doing modeling and you want to model according to some kind of image. Okay, um, Blender has a kind of built-in way of doing this, which is pretty simple, but I don't like it because it's quite limited uh, and it has a couple of problems. So I spent a couple of hours working out my own way of doing it, which I prefer. I think it's a bit more flexible. So I'm, I'm going to be showing that here. Um, a quick disclaimer, I'm just making this video for myself as a reminder for later. So I'm not going to edit it. It's not going to be a slick video. It is what it is. It's a one take, but maybe somebody finds it useful. Okay, so let's start by deleting the default cube and we're going to go into top view. Okay, now before I show my method, I'm just going to show the, the, st the standard Blender method and explain what the problem with that is. Okay, so if we tab or we arrow down, to, we do shift A, and then we arrow down to image and then arrow over to reference. Then we get a pop-up box here going to go to my reference image and bring it in. Now, there's a couple of problems with this. The first problem is that it is what it is. I can't in any way crop the image. I can't just say I want to have this man on the right and not the man on the left. Okay. Now, obviously, I could first crop it in Photoshop or whatever, but that's like an extra step, um, which is kind of annoying in a way. Um, the other problem is that I have no control over how, how it appears. So the only well, the only control I do have is if I go over to this tab here and then, uh, where is it? Uh, opacity here. I can then change how see-through it is, but that's all, all I can do, okay? So that's the standard method. Let's just uh, get rid of that. Um, I'm gonna do this in uh, front view actually. So let's just uh, go into front view and then do shift A and then again the image uh, pop up and then this time we're going to go down to mesh plane. Okay and the same thing is browse to your image and select it. Now I'm just going to split the screen for a second. Okay, and so our image is here. Now, actually, before I go on, I should mention one other little thing quickly, which is that at the moment we don't see anything. We, we don't see the image. Uh, I have to go into uh, either material preview mode or um, render preview. Then I'll see my image. Um, whereas if I load the just quickly go back to the standard way of doing it. Let's just do, choose a different figure this time and scale this one down and move over to the side. You can see that if I go over to solid mode, my, uh, my way of doing it disappears. Whereas the standard blender way doesn't care what mode you're in, see through, whatever, uh, it's always there. So that is the advantage, okay? Anyway, so we have to go back to uh, material preview mode here. Okay, now I need to um, just rotate the image because at the moment we're looking at it like that. So we're going to just rotate like this and Do minus 90 to make it exact. And over here, of course, I have to be also in material preview mode. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, deal with the, the way it appears. So I'm going to, in, on, on the left side, I'm going to go over to shader editor. Press N to get rid of this bar here. We don't need it. And I'm just going to change the, the shader. So we're going to get rid of this one. We're going to need a uh, mix shader. We're going to need a 
a mission. We're going to need a um, color ramp. And what else? You're going to also need a transparent. Okay. We're going to plug it in like this. So the mix shader goes up here. The transparent goes in here. The emission goes in here. Plug this in here. Just organize these around a little bit. And then we plug the color into the here and we plug this into the factor. Okay. So now we can control uh, the color with the emission. And we can also, using the color ramp, just clean up the image a little bit. So we see we have, some, I don't know if it's going to come across on the YouTube film, but we have some speckles here. We can just tweak the color ramp a little bit, clean it up. Whatever you need to do. That's fine. You know, for a reference for a reference image, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Let's just go with let's just stay with white for now. Or close to white. Okay. And of course, if we rotate, we can look at the back of the image. So we can, for now, get rid of the shader editor. We're not really going to need this anymore. Okay. Right. Now, what I want to do is I want to um, have a reference height. I'm just going to split this again. Just let's hide this for a moment. Now I'm going to do... Shift A, I'm going to create myself a, a circle. Okay. Let's just go into edit mode and just scale that down a little bit. And then I'm going to press E to extrude it and then Z to constrict the extrusion, constrain the, the constrain the um, extrusion to Z axis. It doesn't really matter how high I do it because I want to go down here and just do it to an exact amount, which is 1.8. Okay, and I can exit edit mode. And it's a little bit thick. So what I can do is I can go over to here and I can scale it on the X and the Y. I don't want to scale it in the height. But if I just grab X, drag down and then pull this can just make it thinner. So I now have a stick, which is 1.8 meters tall, and that's how tall my man is going to be. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing this and not using the ruler is that the ruler can disappear sometimes. Like, if you go into edit mode, it disappears. I mean, there, there are ways around that, but it's just annoying. So I want to have, like, a nice height stick here, which just is on the screen all the time. I can get rid of it or not. Let's just call that height stick and we can just move it off to the side okay let's bring back our image wrong one undo okay so I want to I want to scale this up to the height of um, the stick I want to make this man 1.8 1, 1 meters tall okay now um, the way to do that is to move the origin because I want it to scale. I want to, what I want to do is to first, I'm going to just first move him so his feet are exactly on the ground like this. Okay. Then I want to place the origin here. So I'm going to just go to the 3D cursor mode, grab that, and just place the 3D cursor in the middle on the floor, like that. 
Then I go up to here to object, uh, set origin and origin to 3D cursor. So just before I do that, you see at the moment, the origin is here, that little dot is here. When I do this next action, it's gonna jump down to where the 3D cursor is. So object, set origin to 3D cursor. And there it is down there. Okay. So now if I, I'm gonna select my image again. If I now scale my image by doing S, You can see that the feet stay in the same place. The feet get bigger, but it scales from here, which is what I want. So I now know that my in, in, in Blender in the Blender world, my man is more or less 1.8 meters tall. Okay. Right, that's fine. So the next thing I want to do is I want to crop the image, okay? So let's just go into edit mode. Now, if I grab this and I press G, you can see that the image is getting shrunken or stretched out. And if I even if I press X so I can strain this movement on the X axis, it's not doing what I want to do. It's not cropping it. It's just sort of squishing it. Okay. That's no good. So control Z. There's a little trick. Again, select these two vertices and then press G and then press G again. And now it will slide the, um, the points over, but the image stays the same. Okay, so you might say, well, that's fine, but oh shit, I made a mistake. I cropped off too much. Let's go back into edit mode. Uh, press G and then G again to slide it. Whoops, can't slide it out. We're, we're stuck. We can only make it even smaller. Okay, but the trick for that is you just press Alt. Okay, so just... To be clear, it's G, G, Alt, all while you're hovering your mouse. Okay, so we can exit edit mode. We can just get rid of our height stick for now. Okay, so now we have our man right here Oh, one thing I should, of course, do is I should get him back to the center of the world. Uh, nope, that was a mistake, sorry. Select my image, and then you can see he's offset here. I just want to get him dead center to the world origin. There we go. Okay. That's fine. Um, now, I want to also have this the side if I, if I wanted to model this man in 3d space i want to not only model his uh front i want to model this him from the side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do um duplicate this one just going to hide the original wait let's call the original front let's hide it and let's call this one side okay And get rid of the number. Okay, so we now have two of the same thing, duplicates. Okay, now I'm going to um, go back to edit mode. Going to go here, I'm going to press G, G, Alt. Like this. like this, and then I went too far. Uh, and then go back to the other side and do GG, and we're gonna just crop it from this side. 
Okay, now we have the problem, which is that our um, origin is over here, whereas we want it to be over here. So I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to go to uh, location and just bring him down like this. So he's on the line. And I'm going to grab my 3D cursor and just put it here. Okay. And then object. No, uh, yeah, I should mention that you have to exit edit mode to do this. You can't be in edit mode to change the origin. So now object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And again, we're good here. So now I can just zoom out and I can just hover over any one of these boxes and just do delete. And he'll jump my man over to our world origin. So if I just bring back our original image, we've now got the two things um, sort of on top of each other because they're both facing forward. Obviously, I want my um, side man to be from the side, so I just have to just rotate him like this. And again, it doesn't need to be accurate because I can go down here and I can just do minus 90. Okay. And now you'll see that we have our man from the front. We have the man from the side. And if we wanted to start modeling this man, we could do it. And maybe it would be easier to have a different color um, for the man from the side. Let's just do that quickly. Uh, We just change the color over here. Let's say, let's have, I don't know, let's have it red. So now we have our reference image. It's transparent. We can play around with the colors. We can move it around. We know he's 1.8 meters tall and we can start modeling and that I think is that there's nothing more to say. I hope this was useful. Uh, any improvements for the workflow, put it in the comments and I will wish you a very fine day.